How's it going, everybody? Iastruber31 here, and I'd like to welcome to my manager mode uh, career series featuring Everton. You may be wondering, like, uh, why are you restarting the series? Uh, I just felt like I needed to do a fresh start, especially since the last with the last slider set. And I wanted to try some things. I just felt the last career mode was getting a bit... Uh, wasn't going my way. So this time, this is going to be the Wayne one I'm going to focus on. And I'm going to show you kind of more, uh, instead of just like me showing you gameplay, which I will show you gameplay eventually, but this will be, I'll show you some of the ins and outs of what I plan to do with team career mode wise. Like scouting for youth players and especially guys we're going to, uh, uh, <laughs> I can't talk. What, what guys we're going to look for in the uh, transfer network. Uh, right now it's July, okay, and so we're in the preseason. We'll take a quick look at our emails here. Nope, no, don't want to exit. So as you can see, they would love a cup run, semifinals of the cup. I'm assuming that's FA Cup. It could be Capital One Cup, so we'll try to get that for both. Uh, the league objective, they want us to qualify for Champions Cup, so top four. And some scouts, and our assistant manager thinks we need a goalkeeper. Fair enough. I mean, we got Tim Howard. He's not going to drop anytime soon, I don't think. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot to do here. Uh, quick look at the sliders. Uh, we are playing world class 15 minutes on slow, obviously. Uh, the sliders are the same set as... Uh, Posted on Operation Sports, they are the Operation Sports Community Set Sliders, and it is the latest set, I believe, from uh, 11:24 on Christmas Eve. So, uh, and these are for the latest patch as well. I also do have the Modding Way mod on. That's another reason why I wanted to try it. I wanted to get uh, the Brazilian League on here, which you can see right here. So the Brazil League is in my career mode. You have to use it. Uh, the uh, I'm using the database 4.0, I believe, with the latest modding way mod. So that's how you get that into your career mode. But you have to start a new career mode to do that. Uh, let's see here. Where can we go? Uh, obviously going to send the preseason. Not going to worry about that. Ah, youth scout. We need to hire a youth mm -hmm. scout to get some... Uh, new talent so as you can see the best scout available is this Marcus Beely for 9.4 million it's a lot of money I'm not gonna lie but you know what he's gonna get us the best players so sign him up right now and I don't think I'm gonna hire anybody else just yet uh, we'll take a quick look at our transfer window. We've got George Wright here, five-star judgment, scouting England. We've got a five-star in Italy and a five-star in Spain. Let's send Robert Dale, this uh, Norwegian uh, player. We're going to send him to, as you can see, I want to see we do have access to the Brazil League now which is awesome. So now we can scout Brazil as well. Just trying to figure out where to send this player. I'm thinking I'm going to send him to Germany. Get him, look at some players over there. Let's see how much more scouts we can afford. And get this finished guy for seven million. Hmm. Let me think about that. <laughs> Let's go over here. Back to the youth staff. Let's see how much more. Ooh, eleven million. Okay, we can get a four star for six mil.
See, in this case, it would be better to go for this finish guy instead of... Because the experience only gives you a list of players if uh, you don't know the difference between Judgment. Judgment's the main one you need. Judgment's the good... finds you the good players. Experience just gets you how many players that they'll pull up on a, on a monthly report or whenever they come back to you. It's like, I got this many players scouted for you. So you always want to go for Judgment. And in this case, I'd probably go a bit cheaper, actually, to get... Perlini. Hmm. Do I want to go youth scout? Yeah, let's let's get some more youth scouts. That way we can find those good players, get them into our squad. Cause I I wanted to have a nice young core building up at the academy. So I'll get you signed as well. And that doesn't leave us much left and we'll sign this three star as well he's got eh, okay judgment looks like but it'll be the way to go so there we have our three scouts scouted well, let's keep spending that money shall we oh wow we only got two star Scouts left. Hmm. Uh, questions, questions, questions. Do I want to sign these players? So I'm going to sign him first. Now, the only bad thing about uh, getting a cheaper scout in the network, because I'm going to use the network exclusively for finding players that I want on the team. Uh, the only bad thing about that is they do take a bit longer to scout areas since they're not as good. And I really don't think, I don't know if they do, if, I don't think they progress, which kind of sucks. Which would be nice if you buy cheap guys and build them up, but yeah, I don't think that was the case. Let's go ahead and get Joe Hurtley. We can hire one more scout. Now we will have full scouts available. Uh, we can get this three star scout from Portugal. Let's, let's do that. There, we have all our scouts available here. Got a f several good ones. Uh, let's send him over to France. Send you to France. To scout players and my last scout. I'm going to send. Where do I want to send you? Just in Spain, fuck. <laughs> so that's the only reason I'm not scouting. Oh no, I am scouting Spain. Okay, Italy, Spain, England. He's going to Germany. He's going to France. Yeah, it's all the big ones. Let's send Joe Hurdley. Let's keep him in. I want to send Russia or Scotland. Let's send him to Scotland to look for. You know what? Screw it. Let's send him to Russia. Actually, I know where I want to send him. I'm sending you to the Dutch. We'll just start scouting in England and then I'll probably move towards South America eventually. But right now that's where I'll have all those guys sent. I'll just give you a quick rundown of who we got scouted so far. 
We've got coal, pasty striker, we're scouting, uh, goalkeepers. These are our instructions. We're looking, This. these are just preset. Uh, striker, they want us to get another striker, pacey. Another uh, free kick specialist in any position, first team, okay, and a first team goalkeeper. Fair enough, we can do with that. Now, our budget's pretty much gone, but that's okay. We can, we've got enough talent up front. Here's a quick look at, I've made a couple team sheets ahead of time. Uh, this is the strongest 11 to start with. Uh, I've got Eto up top, if you can't see his name. But this is going to be my more my 4-5-1 formation. I also have a balance 4-4-2 with Eto and Lukaku up top. And, you know, I got Pinar, Morales, uh, Barry, McCarthy, uh, Bain, Jags, Distin, Coleman, Tim, and that. So, and then we have a 4-3-3. So we'll use that as well. But that was a quick look at the formations. I'm going to be swapping through. I mean, these are going to change depending on how well my players play in the preseason, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, damn it, I keep trying to exit out. <laughs> All right, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and sim ahead, and I'll let you know if I get any news. All right, so here we are. The scouts have arrived just a couple days later. We'll send them out. And the board wants me to win the Europa League. <laughs> oh, boy. And as you can see, it's actual, not the Europe League. It's the Europa League because of the Modding Way mod. It adds all the logos and banners and stuff. So let's go ahead and get our scouts sorted here. Just quickly, let me show you the... And see, so you got that Budweiser FA Cup there. Capital One Cup, the UEFA Champions League Europa League. And we're in Group E with Florentina... Italian Serie A side, Potsan, which I believe is a Polish side, and Lutzerin, which I believe is a Swiss side. Uh, okay, and oh, let's get our scouts out there. Okay, so we have my best scout is going to stay in England because I want to build the best. I want to get the best English players playing for the Toffees. So we'll send them for nine months. Uh, any, I'm not looking for specific players. I'm just looking for guys to build the academy. So my other scouts, where this is where I'm going to try to figure out where I want to send them. Because now I've seen some videos where it doesn't matter where you send these guys because they'll uh, they'll find is equally good. Uh, players just based on their judgment so it's not like some countries have better prospects than others like in the past oh I can't get whales damn I thought I could get whales we'll send him to where do I want to send him to Germany, Belgium, Dutch, um, or should I send him to Greece, Italy, Croatia, Spain, Turkey? Oh my god, so many places to send him. Him to Africa? Because yeah, you could, you could send him to Asia and you could still find amazing players. It's all depending on your scout. But... For this career mode, I want to keep it at home. I want to scout uh, Scotland. Actually, I want to take them to countries that don't have a. And it doesn't. You don't get a bonus if I send them to Finland. I don't get a bonus anymore. So. I can't decide. I just stick in Northern Europe. Let's. I th 
think for the sake of this series, I'm only going to send him to countries that don't have a league in Northern Europe. So, I'm going to send him to Finland anyway, so he can go there. Nine months. Find me some Finnish players. And this last scout will be Northern Europe as well. Yeah, I'll just stay away from these countries because I'll just assume they're getting scouted by their own territory and they'll be a tough draw. I'll, I'll take Northern Ireland for nine months. Get a little variety. So there we go. We're down to a little under two million. And our scouts are away. Okay. Alright guys, I'll go ahead and sim up to out oh, the news. Uh, Barry getting signed. He came on transfer. We'll show you the transfers real quick. I'm not going to do any transfers to the start of the season because these are the most up-to-date rosters anyway. So we got Eto joined from Chelsea, Barry from Man City, Lukaku from Chelsea, and we sang Joy yeah. Gui. <laughs> I know that's how you say his name to uh, Millwall. So that's all the transfers we've done. We might look to do a little business, but we're gonna go ahead and sim up to the uh, first preseason match, and we'll sim it, of course. But I'll come back to you in just a sec. Okay, we're back. Um, I figured I would uh, stop the simulate, stop my recording when I'm doing my trans, go sorting through my transfer window because or my global transfer number because it's you know just a mess of people just sorting through who I want to scout and who I don't. Uh, we're gonna start the first match against. Uh, mm -hmm. I apologize for my controller making noises. Uh, De Porvo Le Carton Corona, Corona, the. Uh, the uh, BBVA team and their team sheet says they run a 4-5-1 so I'm going to use a 4-3-3 formation to see if we can get some attacking going. Uh, there's the lineup Pinar, Eto, Morales, Barclay, Barry McCarthy, Baines, Jags, Distin, Coleman. That's the lineup we'll use and we'll go ahead and sim and I'll let you watch the fun. Okay they're doing a 4-2-3-1 Okay. Yeah. We'll see how that works. So it's, yeah, it's still defensive. So we'll see how this goes. Bring it on. We're at home. Let's see if what we can do. Barkley gets a goal right off the bat. Lovely. So far, so good. Formation's working out. Look pretty nice, it looks like. And that is time. So we get a 1-0 victory. Good job by everybody. <sighs> this controller, I swear. <laughs> All right. There we go. So I will see you at the next match. Okay, for the next match, we're going to go back to our default 4-5-1, which is a more defensive formation. And we are playing uh, uh, Cagliari, which is a Italian Serie A side. Just looking through the news, seeing if we got any... And yeah, we won our first friendly. Yay! Fans love it. Okay, let's go to the second match, see how we do here. Injury. Jack Yelka with a hard tackle, looks like. Barclay, another goal. Looking good this season so far. Pinar gets one. And that should do it. A 2 0 victory. I like it a lot. So another win on the trot. Looking good this preseason. So far, so good. Oh, we have a training injury. 
And Sylvan Distant, ooh, suffered a broken metatarsal. And he will be out for five weeks. So I'll have to make some changes to the squad. So I'll get back to you for our last friendly, if you give me just a sec. Okay, before we play our last friendly, our first month of scouting looks like to be complete. Uh, looks like our Dutch scout uh, could, has found all the players he can. I believe he's only got uh, found a couple of goalies, but that's okay. So we'll look at, uh, this is the Northern Ireland one. As you can see, wow, look at that, 7594. Very nice. 6589, also very nice. Oh, wow. Got found some good players, but this Carl Mitchell looks to be the real deal. Very nice. He seems to be the best one so far, so... Uh, I'm not going to sign anybody just yet. I'm just going to keep scouting. Uh, I'll check out this scout. This is the Finnish scout. He only had two prospects back. Not the greatest, but that's okay. They're not bad. Another goalkeeper. Let's go to a good old England. Okay, so we have a 6286, 60. So a lot of 60s, but it looks like Northern Ireland we found a very good player here. In this little country, we found a really good player with young potential. He's a young player, he's only 15. Let's continue scouting him until we get find out more about him. That could be, you know could be a bit wrong you might go down a little bit but that's okay that's okay we'll keep we'll keep an eye out for him so let me get rid of these emails okay the last match we're gonna go to a 4-3-3 Alcaraz is gonna come in for Distin uh, other than that no changes necessary really uh, we're playing Napoli so they seem to be a more defensive for a formation, so that's why I'm going to lean towards doing it that way. So we'll go ahead and sim this match. Yep, we're at about the same 4 2 3 1. Let's see how we get on with it. That Pinar showing up. Good job. Oh, they have a red card. We get another goal, PNR and Barclay. Come on, Barclay. Let's see if you can get a third goal this season. Oh, they have two guys sent off. PNR gets another one. Oh, man. The old man still got it. So they go nine men down, and we win 2 0. Looking pretty good for us so far this season. So, do we have. No, just a review. Are they talking about us yet? I don't think so. So, all right. So with that, we managed to get all three of our wins in the friendlies. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, this series is going to be kind of more, uh, including the gameplay. I'm still going to show the full matches like I did on my previous career modes, but I also inject some of the uh, career mode uh, aspects of it as well. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try more to be more tactical instead of sticking with one formation trying to make it work. I'm going to be kind of game planning around each team that I face. And I believe the first game will be against Leicester City. So I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to get my team ready for you. And we're going to get ready for the next episode, the start of the BPL season. So until next time, this is Ayushi Reaper 31 signing off for now.